Regina, now you know our basketball team hasn't won since the exhibition game against DeVry. I know. I lost money on that. When I think of something that can give them the inspiration, that can make them be the winners I believe they could be. No! Look, you are not taking this ball. Come on, I just want them to touch it. Look, I am sorry, Coach, but this is a collector's item, okay? Now, I've already ordered the hermetically sealed glass display case for it. I just don't want anything to happen to it, okay? Now, I am late for a meeting. So... Okay, I'll tell you what, Coach. You can take the team out for pizza. Oh, and uh, tell them that the school will pay so little Jimmy doesn't have to fake a seizure. <laughs> Thanks, Regina. No, that's real generous. <laughs> mm. It's a good thing I ain't cut this up like they told me to. <laughs> Day, so let me get you the pizza money out of petty cash now. Cool. A ball. No. Maybe I'd take this down to the courts so let me play rather than hanging me from the rim by my underwear. <laughs> do what I do. Don't wear underwear. <laughs> Snap, here comes Kimmy. Ha! Ah, I got a dollar says she wants us to take out a cousin with them buck teeth. <laughs> Hi, you guys. <laughs> this is the last week to contribute to the school time capsule. I am just going to keep bugging you until you give me something. Or you could ask out my cousin. How about this ball for your time capsule? A bee ball? <laughs> Way cool. Color me stoked. Thanks, guys. Oh, I'll tell my cousin you said hi. Why did you give her the basketball? Why couldn't you give her something that we don't use? Like books. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, God, no. Where is it? Where is it? Hey, dog, check this out. Tell me if they look like Michael Jordan's signature. Said if you're trying to sell these out the back of your Hyundai, you know, I, I could just lend you some money. <laughs> Man, I took Regina's autograph ball and I lost it. Man, now I gotta... You gotta fake your death like my Uncle Willie. <laughs> I'm telling you, Sid, we talking about a woman here that lights candles and pours herself a glass of wine just to watch Space Jam. <laughs> Steve, I want my money back. This piece of junk never even came off. Mama sat in front of it, staring at her own reflection all day, wondering why she was on TV. Well, I'm telling you right now, LaVita, the TV was working when you took it out of here. That's why I didn't want to sell it to you in the first place. Well, now you can just unsell it to me. Give me my money back. No, you took the TV out of here as is. Say something, Cedric. Baby, do they look like Michael Jordan's signature? What are you talking about? <laughs> Whose side are you on? Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. I can tell you this right now. Say it ain't got nothing to do with this. You might as well take this TV back home, tell your mama to slip into a fresh house coat and get ready to watch a whole new episode of herself. <laughs> okay, it's like that. All right, come on, Sadie. Okay, whatever you say, honey bump. Hey. Didn't your brother do a sale due time for forgery? Steve, you have not heard the last of Lovita Alize Jenkins. <laughs> if I wasn't saved, you'd be ducking hot grits right now. I've had your grits. You can't lift them. 